in my system because a lot of people think that I'm crazy. <laughs> They're like, Sorry, Black, we don't know how you do it. It's it's chaos. There's, you do some, you do a lot of stuff, but yet you're not freaking out. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not freaking out. Some basic principles and um, first thing first. That's a good book. Go read the book, Getting Things Done, by David Allen. I mean, seriously, go read the book right now. Stop. Pause this video. Go read that book. But I'll go over it now, real quick. Is I use these programs right here: OmniFocus, Evernote, a calendar, and I'm using Mailbox Bay. That kind of like it. Um, and these things keep me sane. So in Evernote, I got notebooks, and you'll notice I've got stacks. Let's just open that sucker up. I got stacks organized in general things. I've experimented with this a whole lot, and this coincides pretty closely with with this. So I have the same parent stacks here as I do over here. That's just helps me to know where to look. If I'm in here, I know where to go look and bam, it's in the same spot here. All right? So training, I hear my trainings and even though like for example, this has a due date of the 27th of June, I will still write it here as well because that's just one little less piece of friction for me to think about when I see this is to have to look over here somewhere if I'm on my iPhone or if I'm on the iPad or something like that to figure out when this due date is. Uh, I, I do this for very important projects that have a drop dead date that I can't let drop and uh, I'm being harassed by my cat so if I get sidetracked, which I just did, it's because my cat wants to play. He thinks he's a Labrador. So, so I have it in here, and I have the same ones here, right here in the training. So if I click on the trainings, I'll see here they are. They're named the same way, 27 June, and I also have the um, this. I'll have a reminder, and the reason I have the reminder is. Let me back up. Also have in the calendar have the events here in the calendar as well. So I get up in the morning, make my coffee, I go do my CrossFit, and uh, I'll sit down and I'll look at my calendar. And these are my hard set appointments. I don't put anything in here other than hard set appointments. This is what these are time specific things. I have tried to block off like planning time and things like that but it just doesn't work out for me so I, I quit doing it so I have three ways of making sure I don't forget something I see it here I see it here and I see it in here and if I'm in this particular notebook here here's all the trainings or if I'm under just generic notes here's all the trainings here's all the notes that have specific events so you see right here I have a hill climb, the Mount Ashland hill climb, have a Spartan race, and have a Motley Crue and Alice Cooper concert. So these things all have dates, and I drink my coffee, I look at this, I'm like, ah, oh, I won't forget it. Or I'll see it on my calendar. So that's one way that things don't get dropped. Now another thing is, go to my email, and here's an email I got that said, hey, who had to reschedule the training from August until November. And I looked at it earlier, and and we're going to move it to um, November 6th so that that works for me I already checked it out so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look at Ben training and I'm going to change this if I can change it my cat is harassing the hell out of me alright so I'm going to change this to November 6th Starts. November six. It's the same time, eight o'clock in the morning. So done. All right. So now it's in there. But now I need to change in here. So I'm gonna go over here, and here's the bin. I'm gonna change this sucker here to six November. Six November. Now I change this right here change it at 3 a.m. alright 
So that's changed. And if I look over here, there's some good music. All right, I'm gonna change this. Six November, go here. Change date. September, October, November. Bam. All right. So now it's changed. See it moved down here. All right. So another thing is I've got this. Now the only way I can figure out how to do this, you can't copy in here. You can't select this and go edit, copy it. Well, I guess you can. For some reason it wasn't working earlier. I don't know. But what I do is I take it and I just drag it off the screen, drag it here, and that works great. And the reason I like that is because I may be in Evernote. And on my iPhone or something. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, this is there's more to it than this. I got other steps. This is just a generic template that I decided to make. Um, I'm experimenting with this. But I click on it and it takes me right to the uh, particular project. Now in here, I've got a link here. And this takes me straight to, you guessed it, the Evernote link. Now, the Evernote, if you go in here to Evernote and you right click on it, it says copy note link. If you select your option and copy classic note link, that will give you the note link that will open it on your device, your computer right there. It, Otherwise, it'll open it up in the web browser. And since I work in an environment that does not allow me to access uh, Evernote.com, or I don't have internet access uh, most of the day because I work in the middle of a bat cave, uh, that's not useful for me. I have to have it work this direction. So I got my links. Let's go ahead and do, let's do, do that. So copy classic note link. Go over here. Delete that. There we go. Bam. Now the links are all updated. So that's how I keep track of those things. Now on my, uh, I'll go over some other stuff real quick. Uh, the forecast is an excellent view. And the only thing that goes in forecast, I try with a deferred, what things are coming deferred, but that's just, it's just too much. Uh, so the only thing that I show in my forecast are the things that are due. And I just did that today, so I'm going to click Done. And it's no longer there. And what I have found useful is I have a money perspective. So here's student loans. Yay, student loans. Uh, so that lets me keep track of that. And this is a recurring uh, um, task that lets me um, change my pay password. It's a government thing every couple months or so. Other important perspectives that I use is do and do just puts it, everything that's up do without regard to anything else just formatted by time so I can look at what's due tomorrow within the week and such and then while I'm here I can say well I am at home or I am on iOS or I got some quiet time and quiet time is my context where I do strategic planning or things like that. Work on the next project planning or all kinds of stuff like that. I, I want some silence from that. And so review. Cannot stress review enough. I do review pretty uh, pretty regularly. Sometimes I follow the bandwagon, but I get right back on it. And um, these things are... Um, some are two weeks, some are a week, some are a month. Here's all my different context. So I got Mac, iMac, which I'm on right now, my MacBook Pro. I've got iOS where I use an iPad and an iPhone, home. And I've got my office where I work at. Cadre is another office I work at. There's nothing available right now. RTI, which is, there's nothing available right now, as you can see. Uh, we just did a training cycle a couple uh, weeks ago, a couple months ago rather. And then out and about, I split into two different categories. Uh, there's just or there's generic. There's when I'm in Portland. There's some things I can only do in Portland. And then there's out and about when I go set up a classroom or training environment 
where I have to have like various things set up, but I don't want to be, I don't want to check my AV equipment. I don't want that task showing up when I'm just out and about. I only want that showing up in a classroom. So when I'm in a classroom, think of it as an agenda. If you're familiar with David Allen, and I've whittled down my contacts a lot. They've they've grown, they've shrunk. I've tried energy management, all sorts of stuff, and this really what works. Um, I tried the high energy, low energy. I tried the five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hour. That just got to be way too much friction to keep track of. Um, because it doesn't matter if you're tired, if you have no energy, the thing is due tomorrow. So do it. Um, but what I have found useful is that, well, sometimes I'm in a writing mode or I'm in a reading mode and this is an ongoing context that is useful that you can see right here where's the inspector so you'll see this has filtering and I have fine text read so it's the same thing with writing. I have fine text write. And so whether it's psychology, whether it's training for a project, whether I gotta write notes for something else. I mean, you see here, this is a returning veterans project, a resiliency guide that I'm working on. This is domestic violence group that I work in. And this is just my own personal thing. So these are all writing projects. I could go into and later and make one that's specific for work if I wanted to, but I haven't needed to have that sort of granularity. Um, I have projects. So these are grouped by project. I have overall. I can check and see what's due within the next week or month. And then something that uh, is pretty useful is, is this the completed so this helps me like what did I do today this is actually turned out to be a very useful perspective because uh, sometimes I forget like did I do such and such and I'm spending time looking at it and or looking through the projects and I'm like where was it and I just go here bam and I say what did I do today review here and sometimes this jars another idea of like oh yeah I gotta put something here so I go into the inbox and I'll add another bit in the inbox and then clear David uh, not David Allen uh, Max Sparky uh, David Sparks talks about this perspective where this is just everything that's available bam and uh, you can see this is all the tasks that I have available only 92 of them I've got a lot that are second and waiting and things like this um, but this is pretty useful and there's one more that is invaluable to me and that is the waiting context and the waiting context is when I shoot somebody off a uh, uh, an email or something or I'm waiting for somebody to let me know about a piece of uh, I request this for information or something like that I will put in receive information from so and so and every day I'll check in here and I'll pop in and I'll say okay did I get what I needed for that you know and, and if not I'll shoot them off another email uh, for some reason, I haven't figured out why. Only focus is duplicating some of my tasks, but that's not that big of a deal. I wish there was a better way of handling templates, but so far I haven't found a good way to do the templates yet. So that is how I keep track of everything without going nuts. Um, Evernote has tags. These are just some of the tags like computer you can see I got all kinds of stuff and for the most part I thought this was going to be the way to do it and I read a great article about using tags for making your Evernote just scream awesome and so far it hasn't really I've tried it it hasn't worked for me I haven't had a whole lot of use for Atlas because I spend so much time driving and I'll create a note when I'm say Oregon City that has to do with the project that's in Monmouth. So there's no correlation with most of this stuff with the stuff with the location. There's absolutely no... This serves me no good. I haven't found a single use for any of this whatsoever. 
so I don't use the atlas. And I rarely ever ever use the tags. Mostly what I use is notebooks or notes view. And notes view because I know I've worked on it the last couple of days and so it's probably going to be uh, pretty close to the front. So I got this in organ uh, since most recently created. But I live in uh, notebooks and I have shortcuts. And for the most part, search coffee. See what it shows up when you do coffee. Bam. Some recipes. Here's meeting notes. Here's another recipe. Here's uh, when Best Warrior Competition comes up in a couple of months. I've already started working on a uh, uh, packing list. And here's a list to Best Warrior Competition. So this takes me to, you guessed it, it's going to take me to Omni Focus. Bam! There it is. Which I did that. I did that. I haven't done that yet. And I'm going to defer this until, let's see, January, March, April, May, June, September. Let's defer this until September 1. Boom. So the first September 1. I could do the whole project, but I don't want to have the project deferred yet. I want it kind of stick in there, not disappear, but the tasks themselves to disappear. I like doing that because now I know that I've at least thought about it, if that makes sense. And it's going to still pop up on my, my reviews and such. So that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. This is what keeps me sane right here, this, this easy little system. Oh, one more thing about uh, email. Is email. Well, I'm not gonna go to the email. I just say just Google inbox zero Merlin Man. Watch it, learn it, live it, love it. It'll make your life a whole lot easier.